All right. I hope that you have come in today and feeling a lot more thankful from the time the assembly started. I mean, there's just a lot to give thanksgiving to God about. Such an encouraging time and so great to be with the body and the family of Christ. I don't know how you started out this morning when the alarm clock went off. I don't know how grateful your heart was. I didn't know if you had a happy heart when you first got up. I don't know when you got in the car and were driving to the assembly the day how grateful you were. I don't know when we first started singing if you really were in the framework of the, the right mind frame of gratitude and thankfulness to God. But I believe as our time together has, we've spent about an hour together now, I think that in that hour, we might have changed just a little bit from the grumpy goat that got up <laughs> to having a little bit more thankfulness in our hearts today. Is that right? Now, maybe you weren't the grumpy goat, Somebody asks, do you wake up grumpy in the morning? And I say, no, I let her sleep. <laughs> it's amazing that we can be together and there's so much that we can list and be thankful for. So encouraging to hear Tucson's song and sharing that with us and how inspiring and encouraging that was. So great for, for Tiffany and Rhett to be up here and, and sharing and just the, the gratitude and the thankfulness that came out. I mean, Tamika, sorry. It's not the first mistake I'll make today. There is so much for us to have gratitude and, and thanksgiving for. But we need to take our thanksgiving and change it from just a holiday of thanksgiving to an actual life of thanks living. And I want to encourage us today to make a little transformation to get out. I think sometimes we live in that, uh, in that turkey haze, you know, that after you've eaten so much turkey and all of the, I don't think it's just the serotonin that builds up. I think it's just the amount of food you've eaten. That all of the uh, blood has gone to your digestive system. You have nothing left in your brain to keep you going. I really want to, for us to, to be inspired today to want to have a life that's thanks living not just a day of thanksgiving. So in order for us to get there, then the first thing I want to say to us is that our, our life, our thanksgiving, it needs to become expansive. Our thanksgiving should be expansive. You know, there are so many great psalms that talk about what it is to be thankful. Uh, I love the, the, uh, the Tucson's song of thanksgiving. Because it reminds me of, a, it sounded like a psalm. And it reminds me of Psalm 42 and verse 4 says, These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go with the multitude, leading the procession to the house of God, with shouts of joy and thanksgiving among the festive throng. What a, how was it this morning when you came in? How was it as you came in and you, and you saw people? Was it coming in with shouts of joy? Was it a festive atmosphere? You know, sometimes it kind of takes us a little bit to get engaged. I want to encourage us. Let's work at letting our Thanksgiving be more expansive. Psalm 95 and verse 2 says, Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is a great God, the great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth, 
and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. You know, as we were already told today, it's only God that can really satisfy and fulfill our hearts. And how much more will our thanksgiving be pouring out if we realize just who God is and what he does for us. Psalm 100 was already read today, but it says, shout to joy for the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues throughout all generations. Our thanksgiving needs to be expansive. I have an assignment for you. I want to give you a challenge to get your thankfulness to be more expansive. What are you thankful for? The challenge is, I want you to write a list of 100 things that you're thankful for without repeating. 100 things. The top 100, surely we have 100 things that we're thankful for. Surely there's 100 things that we can say, wow, I am so thankful. I want to really encourage you and challenge you to do a thank list. 100 things that you're thankful for. And see if it, what it does to your heart as you begin to, 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 to imagine all that God's done for you. There was an advertising firm in New York that, that did an experiment. They dressed up a guy and set him in Central Park and he had a sign on his neck that said, I'm blind. He raised $4 that day. The next day they set him out there and they put a sign on, his, on him that says, I'm blind and it's spring. I'm blind and it's spring. Springtime. Flowers are blooming, birds are singing. Spring, that's Texan for spring. And his donations increased 10 times. Same man, same place. It's just that as people walk by, all of a sudden they were reminded that maybe there's a little bit more to be thankful for than what they know now. And I think sometimes we get stuck in not saying all of the things that we're really thankful for. In order for life to become not just a thanksgiving, but thanks living, then our thanksgiving must become expansive. Secondly, in order for our, our life to really change, thanksgiving is expected. And I know that when you say the word expected, some people start getting nervous because we're not supposed to expect. And, I'll, and I'll, let me... Let me.